She's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist. She's no longer matching energy. She's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul. So if you start moving funny, she's moving on. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my live. Um, it's just a little bit of delay. Not sure. I may want to text them on that. Okay. But anyway, how are you guys doing? I am super excited to be here on Amazon Live with you guys. Um, it's going to be super, super fun. Um, now, remember, I will be streaming every other week. So make sure you catch me live so you don't miss anything. So we can shop together, chat together, all of that and more. All right. So today is going to be all about customers most love fashion and that would be fashion for the summer we have to kick it off just right i love summer you know i love winter for you know layering etc and then i love summer for unlayering <laughs> <laughs> less and less clothes, okay? Less and less and less. And bodycon dresses, fun outfits, and more is my absolute fave. And that is what today is all about, okay? A cute little intro, Portia, but you already know why I'm here. I go straight to the T, but just in case you were to see Portia in different outfits throughout the video, I had to play that intro so you all know that she's doing an Amazon Live advertising some of their products i come for the tea and not the product so let's get straight into what she had to say about the real housewives of atlanta and kenya moore i had to give you all a break from the portia williams long intro and show our girl kenya some love a little more headroom honey a little more headroom um okay so let's get into the chat and see what you guys are talking about okay wk asked Spill the tea on, uh-oh, my thing is moving. Spill the tea on what you think about the new cast. Okay, so, guys. <laughs> so, all right, so we they, they just announced the cast officially from um, Housewives, so Real Housewives of Atlanta, and um, I kind of have some rundown on them, okay? So, first of all, we all know that Kenya is back. Yes, Kenya. <laughs> Round of applause. I don't know if I'm gonna be taking that clap back, but right now I am. <laughs> <laughs> right now I'm clapping for her. No, I'm joking. I my hopes for Kenya and I is that we can, you know, spark a brand new fun relationship. Uh, I can't say rekindle because we don't want to be rekindling, but we, I feel like um, there could be an opportunity for a new, a new, a new. Um, and then also you have Drew Sedora, which is back on the show. Then you have Shamia, my bestie. Yes, yes, okay. Shamia's back on the, on, she's on the show. I can say back because Shamia has actually been filming for at least seven eight years. years? Yeah. yeah, at least seven or eight years. And now she has her official peach, honey. Yes. Um, then we also have Cynthia. Cynthia Aww. Bailey is going to be a friend of the show. Oh, my goodness. She held that. When I tell y'all, I did not know that Cynthia was coming back as a friend. And I'm really excited for it because I feel like when Cynthia was on the show as a housewife, she was kind of mixed into that... Um, trio of that alliance of Ken, Kenya and Candy. And I couldn't really get like close to her because they had their own thing. But as a friend of the show, I feel like y'all are going to get to see the fun side of Cynthia and I. Like she and I in real life have the best kikis. Like we have the most fun. She has the same birthday as my sister. So, you know, it's that kindred spirit kind of thing. Um, then also, who else do we have? Um, there's a new girl named Ange and Angela, Angela Oakley. Um, now I don't know Angela, but I hear her husband is everything. I hear her husband is everything. I hear her husband is everything. Um, 
I hear that she is fabulous. She is beautiful. I saw her on a phone call. And y'all can even say he's too old for her because Portia is in the midst of divorcing her grandfather. So, nah. Okay, this is uh, the perfect age range for Portia right here. And I heard that he used to date. Well, she by she and the she by she and the she by she and the. <laughs> Miss Chateau, she can't pay. Miss A Mattress, whatever Kenya says on the screen. I heard that that's Sheree ex boyfriend. And y'all know, man, just fun shade. Sheree, oh girl, I'm so sorry you're not coming back. Oh, you ready to steal somebody else's husband? Yours? <laughs> Yours? <laughs> And just like that, I have found a new clip to add to my Portia Williams intro because I'm adjusting the intro. It's too long, so I'm about to take some things out. But for this video and the next video, I'm going to allow the original Portia intro to play. But going forward, I'm adjusting some things because it's funny, but it's way too long. Um, I also saw um, there's another girl named Britt. There's another girl named Brent who's been announced on the show as well. Now, I met her briefly, like very, very briefly. Um, and the, the exchange was cool. Um, I've heard some other things about her being really fun and, you know, just kind of like a cool person. Check out her Instagram. She has a lot to say about a lot of things. Our first week of filming is almost to an end. Um, I'm excited to be joining the Real Housewives of Atlanta as a peach holder. And, um, it's going to be sexy, glamorous, um, good vibes, good energy, luxury, all that good stuff. So, um, the girls are great. I know you guys want all the drama and all the tea, but you're going to be surprised that, um, gonna be a lot of love this season so i'm very excited to be an atlanta housewife and of course a peach holder and i just i look forward to these good vibes this season but yes it's gonna be drama i mean who you guys have been seeing the blogs and all the stuff that's been going on so stay tuned that's we want to see them scouts this season okay let us know you got edges we want to see them edges. <laughs> okay. We want to see them motherfucking edges. This is the young lady that people were saying is Fallon cousin. Now, Fallon older modeling Instagram page went viral. And on that page, she shares the same last name as Britt. So that's the reason why people were saying they are cousins. Because remember, Pina is not her last name she changed it and then her ex changed his name she had a whole story time about it and then of course the other name we knew her by the other last name was the ex-husband simon last name now there are pictures out there of brit and fallon on vacation together she's been in fallon comments and liking pictures and all of that but she's since denied that fallon is a cousin she said no so it's possible that you know what hey we look alike we have the same last name who cool in that way or she's trying to protect her spot on the show she's not even on the show yet she's not trying to be mixed in drama by saying oh yeah she's my cousin and claiming fouling now this is my thing okay yes family is cool and all but there are some family that are exchange so if Britt comes on and she reveals that, yes, you know, I lied. Fallon is my cousin and she had Fallon back. Cool. We shall cross that preach when we get there. But just because someone is connected to someone and know them doesn't mean they are coming in defending that person. She could come in and be like, you know what? I want to make sure I'm back next season. And if buying down to certain people is going to secure my peach, then that's what I'm going to do, girl. What do you need me to do? Do you need me to say, you know what, you were a scent and uh, Fallon lied? Do you want me to go ahead and further prove that you did nothing wrong so you can sleep good at night, Portia? What do you need me to do? So just because there's a connection there doesn't mean, oh, yes, it's going to be dramatic. We shall see once the show starts because just because someone is your family doesn't mean they're going to have your back. They could be the family member that backstabbed you and dragged you. On the family member 
that have your back. So seeing is believing. And once the show start, then I will make my assessment from there. Um, and then also there's another girl named Kel and she apparently owns restaurants and stuff like that. Um, I don't know about her. I've heard some things about her. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to see what she gives. <laughs> and Kel wasn't happy with these faces, these stink faces that Portia was making. Her name is Kelly, not Kel. So she went to her Instagram story. She posted this video right here. The caption, I think she know the name. So Portia is doing everything in her power to have that center peach to show Bravo that yes, I know I promise you all a husband in this rich lifestyle and now the man is doing too much. Yes, I started this whole mess by filing for a divorce after I found out he was a scammer and all of that. I get it. But now he wants me out of this house. This house was supposed to show my upgraded, lavish lifestyle. Now he wants me out of the house. Now he's including Bravo into his court documents and all of these things. It's a mess. However, with this heavy promotion and every other day talking about the show and being so open, hopefully Bravo will see that I'm actually putting in the work and I'm getting people excited and my face is everywhere and they're going to give me that center peach and hold on to me because I'm willing and ready to work. So Portia is outside and Portia is working. But you also have to think about it. You have Shamia who is married and have the lifestyle that Portia wanted. Copy paste. It didn't work out for Portia for too long. You have other women coming on here that actually have real money in our wives so Portia is like what if they show up and bring it so they're giving bravo everything that bravo wanted from me so i also have to show up and prove to bravo that you know you invested in me and your money was well spent so hey Portia is doing her job and doing her thing and like i said i'm never going to force content i don't move like that so if the content is there as it relates to Kenya and other people, I will post it. If it's not there, I'm not going to force the content. But since Portia did mention Kenya in this video, I say, you know what? Let's take a break from the Portia Williams intro because I've done a few videos back to back. And let's use the Kenya more intro for this one. Now, Portia had a lot more to say on her Amazon Live. So let's get back to it. I haven't actually met any of the new girls i'll say that i've only just kind of heard a little things little things here and there about them um i will be meeting them uh, eventually okay yeah i'll be yeah i'll meet i'll be meeting everybody and judging for myself and i will come on come back to it okay um so next we have miss pris um miss pris is saying oh wait did i go over all the cast is that all the cast yeah like it is I'm okay yeah saying. Okay, no, I think that's I think that's everybody. I think yeah. that's everybody. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So Miss Pris, how is filming going so far? I hope your I hope your friends throw you a divorce party this season because you absolutely deserve it. So um filming has been going. <laughs> <laughs> I filmed all week. I did two um scenes a day. It was it's a lot. And can I say this? It's already lit. Like it's already lit. I say that much. Um and as far as a divorce party, I'm not one to celebrate divorce because I feel like divorce is like a death in the family, but I definitely would love to celebrate um you know, elevation and just being, you know, a, a great person and being a great woman. I don't know what I want to celebrate. I don't think I want to celebrate nothing that got to do with no divorce, child. But I think we, they should throw me a party. How about that? Just I because. Thank me. Huh? Yeah, I want to thank me for being me and doing me. Okay. <laughs> right. The way Snoop said it. Um. All right. Kid Candy's Kingdom says. Have you filmed any confessionals yet for RHOA, Real Housewives of Atlanta? And is this a potential um, confessional look? No, no. Y'all know how I do my confessional looks, baby. Like, I don't play them games. This is a bit casual for me for confessional. Um, and no, I have not filmed any. Oh, well, no, I have not filmed any confessionals as of yet. Um now, oh, I thought she was saying move on. It says move on after this. Fab Nation says, oh, but overall, because I thought they said move on. Let me go back to the cast real quick. So overall, when it comes to the cast, I will say I feel like we have a great balance. 
Yes. I feel like every, most, some people are connected. Some are super fresh and brand new, but I feel like um, everybody is uh, really opinionated, which you know, that's what we're built on. And everybody got their own personal drama going on. So it should be very well rounded for y'all. Um, Fab Nation says, hopefully Cynthia is more mature now <laughs> and not that petty. Okay. Um, well, Cynthia has always been very mature, but she definitely has a petty side. <laughs> it's the Pisces in her. Yeah, she is. The, this is Lauren right here. All petty day. Pisces. All right day, here. all day. They seem so innocent and so mature, but baby, they will just read you down. So, yes. Actually, I hope she gives both. I hope she gives petty. I hope she's petty. Yeah, yeah, she gives like both, petty and all of that and more, all right? I'm going to be on every other Friday, and you do not want to miss out, okay? So, we're going to hit some of these questions before I get ready to go. We've got Simor. Simor says, I'm praying that you and Kenya have a beautiful relationship. Y'all are really fun to watch together when y'all are friends. And I'm so glad you're back on our, our, our HOA. That is a tongue twister. And I never really realized it was a tongue twister to <laughs> RHOA. Um, but yes, thank you. Um, I think she's great. I think she's great. I've been away for three years. I don't see any reason why, you know, she's fabulous. She's got her hair salon now. She's doing very, very well. Um, and a beautiful daughter with Brooklyn. So I think that she will be, um, she'll be great. We'll be fine. Um, Melina asked, are the new Atlanta ladies married? Okay, so here's the tea on that. So Angela is married. Angela, I forgot her last name just that fast. What did I say? Oakley. Oakley or Oakley. Um, yes, yeah, she is married. Kelly is going through a divorce. Um, and then that's the restaurant person. And then um, Britt is married as well. And then Shamia is married. Kenya and I are going through a divorce. And then who else is there? And Cynthia is, um, honey, single and fabulous. All right. Um, so that there's that. Um, and Drew is divorcing as well. LJ says wearing an anklet on the left. Here's our answer, Lauren. What is it? Okay, okay. Come on, LJ. LJ says wearing an anklet on the left ankle lets people know the wearer is married but has an open relationship with the spouse. Oh my oh, god! I knew it was gonna be detailed. Ah! I knew it. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Okay, let me switch it from. Am I still. Wait, missing? which light do you have it on? I have it on my left. Oh! So I have an estranged husband, and he is currently dating. So I think that probably would mean an that, open relationship. Yeah, it's 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 well, we're not in a relationship anymore. I don't know. No, it's, he, oh, right. It's true. getting complicated. I'll just put it on my right and say single. We'll just go with that. Just wear it as a bracelet. Fine. <laughs> I, yeah, okay. Well, my arm ain't my wrist ain't that big. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I can right. put it on my right side. Yeah, I mean, I'm not signaling. I'm not signaling to anyone because I am so not ready to even look at another man. Um, but yeah, that's a fun answer. That's a fun answer. Um, Ella said, oh, "You can look. I can look. Yeah. I can look, but I'm not. I can't go past look. Okay. You remember the guy who approached us the other night? Like, I can't. Oh, yeah. I get. I like. It's like you're giving me my number to do what." <laughs> What 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 was your be awkward? Oh, yeah, because I don't even know how to do any of this. I can't. It's too much for me. How the hell are you? Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> Exactly. But anyway, so guys, I love you so much. I will be on Amazon again uh, the Friday after next. Make sure you shop my cart down below. I have enjoyed my time with you guys, and I'll see you again soon. Okay. Mwah. And when I said Shamia is bringing what Portia promised, this right here. Portia experienced all of this when there was no camera. She posted all of this on social media. Now that she's back on the show, she came back to show more of this. But now Shamia is on with the husband, getting the lavish presents and showing that lavish lifestyle. But the difference is Shamia is more low key about it. But when the camera is in your face and you have a peach and they're paying you, things change. So we shall see 
if those things and how she may move or change as we're seeing she's showing her gift on camera so things might change as she might go from being more low-key about it to more in your face like Portia was but anyways there you have it it's a lot going on but I'm excited to see the Real Housewives of Atlanta all because Kenya Moore is still there and for the people asking Kenya will be Kenya okay she didn't promise Bravo anything I'm Kenya my real authentic life will be shown and if any of these girls try me you already know what's going to happen and that's it so i don't have to be on social media in your face with it i'm going to go to work do my job and allow what i do on tv to show but shout out to Portia for working over time getting people excited putting content out there to keep the show name in the press and all of that she's doing her thing on that front so hopefully the editing is fair this season coming up and we shall see once again i'm wishing all of you well and take care thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless